And we're back in the garage. So uh, the customer says that the fan and emergency heat works fine, but whenever calling for heat pump, whether it's in heat or cool, it just blows the three amp fuse. So it sounds like we have a low voltage short going on. So I'm just gonna check everything in here first to make sure it's all good and then we'll go from there. So here we go. All right, so we've identified this as our outdoor wire. This is our thermostat wire. I've labeled them just for personal reference. This black and brown wire goes to an outdoor sensor, a wired one. Uh, this is our common, this is our compressor. This right here is heat. And this right here is our reversing valve, which goes directly into the unit. This is the board that's been popping fuses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, obviously the short is on Y, so we're gonna go ahead and start with that. So let's go ahead and check that to ground. All right, so I've isolated the Ys. So this is to the board, nothing. And this one is to our outdoor. Nothing, check the line set, nothing. Check our thermostat. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So we might have a bad contactor. Let's go scope that out. All right. So we're at the outdoor unit. Um, just going to check the contactor. So yeah, it's about 15.96 ohms. So that looks about normal. I'm not getting anything to ground. Nothing to common. I have both wires disconnected. Just so you know. All right, so we got our little popper on here and we have it on amps. We're gonna set it to max. Show me the highest amp draw. Right now it's pulling about 0.46 amps uh, with zero call. So we're gonna go plug in the service stat and see what it does. All right, so when I called for cooling, uh, which is just why it immediately just popped, but we were getting eight amps so that explains why this is popping. So it's definitely in our Y. So we're gonna go ahead and start isolating Y and see what this going on. So now I just have the thermostat connected to the indoor board for cooling. And we will reset this. All right, so we're pulling pretty much no amps right now. So our short's definitely going outside. So what we're gonna do to save time is we're gonna use one of these extra wires and swap it and try that. All right, so we're now using the green wire for Y. Uh, switch, switch on the indoor unit too, so let's give that a shot. Calling for a fan, it just immediately popped. This thing isn't working. Uh, thankfully though, the thermostat resets itself when it detects a surge. But yeah, we got about eight amps coming through there. We're gonna check out that outdoor unit. I think there's something wrong with it. And there might be that board. Apparently that board's been replaced before, so I'm gonna try bypassing it and see if we can get this to work. Okay, so I pulled the wire off the contactor so that goes from the board to here, okay? And I plugged it, the thermostat connection straight into the contactor so the board is completely bypassed. So we're going to go ahead and try calling for compressor and see if it pops again. Alrighty, so she didn't pop this time and she's running and cooling. Let's go see if the contactor is closed. The unit's not shorting, but the contactor is still open. All right, we're gonna go to ground here, and we're gonna check this side. So I have 28 volts. Come inside, not 28 volts. So let's try something real quick. We may have come across our issue. So I got my jumper wire here. This is another reason why I use long jumper wires. It's just when you're doing stuff like this makes it way easier. So I've unhooked the common if the contactor is closing. So we know the contactor is good. So something is open on our common side. So I think we have a short in the common somewhere in here. Okay, so now I have this directly on the uh, indoor unit. Circuit board's completely bypassed. So there is a short somewhere going on with this. So now we need to find it. And we're checking our amp draw and it's 0.28, so that's normal. All right, cool. So we need to start 
removing things and finding out where the short is. Uh, the board doesn't seem to be touching anything metal, so I don't think the board is shorted. I think something that's attached to the board is shorted. So now we just need to find out what it is. So I have one side of my meter on the Y terminal on here, and this is the back side. So here's Y, and we're tracing it, okay? So that runs over here, runs to here, then it goes into here. This is the low pressure switch, I believe. Or the high pressure then it continues over to here i have them jumped out by the way that continues here to here then continues to here here to here so this is the other pressure switch which goes into here this right here is the contactor out this is contactor in or con contact common so that path is clear so we know it's good it is shorted to ground so we found our problem. So now we need to trace this wire and see where the damage is and fix it. Yeah, so check this out. So it's shorted somewhere. Obviously there's a rub spot here. So now we just need to find it because this wire was running over that cord. Ah, there it is. I don't know if that shows, it's right there. So I have, my meter on that side on the same wire here. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on that rub spot. Hear that? So that's that was our short. So we just need to butt connect that. I'm gonna repair that and then go from there. I might just actually wrap that with electrical tape and then we'll just reroute it so it's not touching anything. So yeah, we found our short, sweet, let's repair it. All right, so I got a little happy with the zip ties, but uh, we've rerouted it, I've re-insulated it. Um, that way it's not touching any pipes. So we should be good to go. So I'm gonna put her back together and then we'll try to cycle it. All right, so we cycle it on from the thermostat, the fan kicked on, didn't pop the fuse. Uh, this is on a delay. I don't know if you can see the lights, but they're alternating flash. That means there's a five minute delay. Uh, so, yeah, right here is this five minute delay. So anyway, uh, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and clean up while we're waiting for that, but I'm pretty sure we got the problem fixed. All right, contactor is now closed, fuse has not popped, so we're gonna put everything back together and cycle it and make sure it's heating normally, but I would say we're pretty much good. Alrighty, so she's all put back together. Uh, I'm calling for heat right now, just the heat pump. No more burning fuses. Uh, everything seems to be good, so it looks like it was just that short on the high pressure or maybe the low pressure. I don't remember which what, one of those pressure switches. So uh, anyway, hopefully this helps you out on trying to hunt down a, a short. As you can see, it's a very tedious process and everybody does it a little bit different. So this is just how I do it. Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like the tools that I'm using, pick up a set on my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.